little warriors Changing our world day by day The way of the crypto warriors Can't rely on the bank, there's no way Good morning, good morning, BixWearRoadRoad.com With your morning horn of Z's, your sip of decaffeinated tea. <laughs> yes, we have started the 21-day reboot again. This is a body cleanse to reboot your body. All, all we're eating is raw food. If you want to learn more about it, go to Amy's website. It's called 21... Raw21reboot.com. Raw21reboot.com. 100% free. I'm trying to teach you how to be a capitalist. She's failing miserably, but it's 100% free. You guys can start whenever you want, but it's more fun to do it with everybody on the road to Ruta. We are starting right now. I announced it yesterday, but we're starting right now. Go to Raw21reboot. If you start tomorrow, you just go an extra day. It's one week of eating raw food, one week of eating raw smoothies, and one week of eating raw juices. It is all the nutrients that you need. Organic, raw. You don't need all the other shit. <laughs> and the the upside of it is you feel better. Your vibration is on the high. You lose a hell of a lot of weight. And it's only 21 days. And you can do it with your friends and family. Everything you need to know about it is on Amy's website. The Raw Food Reboot. It goes through recipes. It goes through what it is, how it works. What it... And her website is just on fire. Yeah. <laughs> she needs to do redo the Road to Riddle website, don't you think? I think so. Anyway, go to Raw 21 Reboot if you want to join us. Let's talk silver now. Beautiful, beautiful chart. I, I, I wrote it down. <laughs> it's insane. I wrote down how much uh, electronic silver contracts they threw at us to smash the price of silver because it was approaching $30, $30 in August. In August. That's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. In 10 trading days in August on the COMEX, 2.7 million contracts or 13.5 billion, with a B, 13.5 billion ounces of electronic fraud was thrown at the price of silver and it's not stopping it that's the beautiful thing these numbers are off the charts unheard of in the history of silver and it's doing nothing the silver cavalry as jenny moonstone likes to call it that's us that's anybody who takes physical silver this is a spiritual war as well as a monetary war as well as a war on the ground Remember, silver can destroy the banking system. Where do the bad guys get their power? Where do the, the criminal politicians get their power? Where do the criminal bankers get their power? All the unbacked fiat monetary system. Silver is their Achilles heel. There is a wall of silver warriors coming through right now. Spiritual silver warriors and on the ground. You, me, and everybody who understands silver understands it's been under 150 years of price suppression that's about to end. 150 years of price suppression by the criminal elite about to be destroyed. Get physical silver. Get it in your own possession today. I always say, go to your local dealer. Make Start a relationship with your local dealers. That's probably who you'll be selling to. When silver hits a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, ten thousand dollars, get small denominations pre sixty five coinage, one ounce rounds. Why? Let's say silver goes to a thousand dollars, and you have a hundred ounce bar. You're gonna have to go into your local coin shop and say, uh, "I got a hundred ounce bar. Can you give me a hundred thousand dollars?" It's harder if you have one ounce coinage. You can go in with one ounce and say, hey, "Give me a thousand dollars." When it goes to 10000 you can probably still do it at a local coin shop. Walk in there with one ounce of silver, he'll give you 10000 in cash. Most of the coin shops keep a decent amount of cash on hand. If you don't have a local coin shop, send Andy Sheckman an e email. He's a good friend of mine. He's promised to take care of all the Road to Ruta followers. Andy at MilesFranklin.com. A-N-D-Y at M-I-L-E-S-F-R-A-N-K-L-I-N.com. 
Let's keep him busy. Buy what he's got in inventory. Buy what he's got in inventory. Don't wait. I mean, I trust Andy like I trust a brother. But in reality, some things he can't control. The U.S. Mint can say, yeah, yeah, we'll get you on this delivery date. And then they, the delivery date gets delayed. And you're like sitting there waiting, oh, my God, I don't know if I got my silver. Buy what they got in inventory. Get that physical in your own possession now. Now. Now is the time. Look at these. Con- that is 13.5 billion ounces. Let's put some frame of res- reference on this. In the last 10 days, 13.5 billion ounces. In the entire year, all the mining companies, all the capital, all the haul trucks, all the excavators, everything that went into mining silver can only get about 850 to 900 million ounces in the entire year out of the ground. And the COMEX seems like it's okay to dump 13.5 billion ounces on the market. But what happened to the price? Almost nothing. This is unheard of. Everything is changing. This is why it's happening. There is no more waiting. This is the end game. And it doesn't even have to be on the physical side of delivery for September. As I said over the weekend, if you listen to my post, look at this. Look what happened. Open interest for the September contract dropped 5,000 contracts. That's 25 million ounces. And it didn't get rolled over. Look at the December contract. It's only 900. So at least 20 million ounces that would have been usually still sitting there on open interest could have been a, a delivery was closed out. What does that mean? It means they're taking huge losses. Why? Because they don't have the physical silver. Everybody wants physical silver now. They cannot let this go to September. They're going to have to close out their positions and take huge losses. I don't care if they deliver the silver or take the huge loss, truthfully. All I want is the manipulation to go away and, and, the, and humanity have a free, tr- freely traded silver market where we can finally determine after 150 years of price suppression what the true fair market value of silver is. That's all I want. That's an American ideal. Free markets are the road to freedom, and we don't have free markets right now, and I hope you understand that. It's the only thing I'm pissed off about Trump and the good guys about is they're rigging markets bigger than better than anybody has ever rigged them. Why? Because they're trying to keep things under control. Free markets are the road to freedom, not controlled markets. I hope everybody who's been rigging has understood that. When Alan Greenspan implemented the first computer trading programs in the 1970s to rig markets and create our financial system, I don't think he thought this would go on for so long. I don't think so at all. 50 years of price rigging due to Alan Greenspan's and John Kimeney, the guy who invented basic computing, writing computer models to create an electronic financial system and rig the markets. It is phenomenal. It's an amazing achievement. But now we're coming to the end. I guarantee you Greenspan wants the end of this system more than anybody. Maybe even more than Warren Buffett. And yes, Warren Buffett wants the end of the rig system too. As I said, at some point in time, near the end, Warren Buffett would flip and turn into a huge gold silver bug and dump his other investments. Investments such as Goldman Sachs, which he dumped all of, and banking stocks. Warren Buffett dumps U.S. bank stocks amid gold mining and buys gold mining stock. He, he bought a huge chunk of Barrick. But this has just begun, my friends. You don't think Warren's buying silver in the background? He is absolutely. If you're looking for delivery, look at Warren Buffett. Look no further. This is the end game. I talked about it, and I'm going to tell you where I found out about this originally. Just back in 2019 in February, Warren Buffett bashes gold, saying the magical metal was no match for the American metal. 2019, he's saying, ah, gold sucks, gold sucks, and all of a sudden he's buying one of the largest gold miners in the world, Barrick. But did you know he had a whole bunch of 
gold in the ground that he doesn't tell anybody about? Remember when he bought that railroad? What do you think railroad companies have on their books? Land. Lots of land and lots of gold and lots of precious metals under the ground in that land. It's a well-known secret behind the scenes. Why would, why would Buffett love a, a mining company? Because you can buy, I mean, a, a railroad company, because you can buy a railroad and get all the land underneath, underneath the tracks and you have all the rights to it. That's just my take, a well-known secret. Don't forget what, those of you saying, oh, Buffett, you don't know what you're talking about. Come on now, why do you think Buffett bought 130 million ounces of silver in 1998. Here's, here's one of the articles. May 1998, Warren Buffett is acclaimed as the most successful investor of our time, having become, according to Fortune magazine, the country's second wealthiest man via his investment acumen. Starting 42 years ago with $100,000, blah, 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 blah. Normally, Berkshire would, would, not, would have revealed its silver acquisition in its annual report. However, amid accusations that silver prices were being manipulated, and a CFTC announcement that it was looking into the acquisitions, ac accusations, Berkshire issued a press release on February 3rd disclosing the purchase. Additionally, on January 28th, a class action lawsuit was filed against the commodities firms that had been buying the silver. The lawsuit maintained the price of silver was being manipulated because the price of silver was rising as gold was going down, an unprecedented occurrence. Now, Ted Butler says that uh, Ted, that, that Warren Buffett was actually in on the price rigging. I don't think so. Why don't I think so? Because I know Warren Buffett. I read all his books. I know how he, what he thought of his father. His father, Howard Buffett, senator, one of the best senators we've ever had in the United States of America, screaming for to go back onto a gold standard in the in the 1940s, in on the floor of Congress. Amazing man. Warren Buffett idolized his father. So I think this was all a big ploy, a big plot by Warren Buffett. And at the end, he would reveal himself and he would help destroy the bad guys by buying silver and gold. And right now, he's just told everybody he's buying gold through leveraged mining companies and, oh, by the way, he's selling banks. Sure, Trump didn't want to hear that. So you want to know how I came to this Warren Buffett thing? Through research, a lot of research, but also, I mean, if, if you're into silver, you got to understand what Warren Buffett's take on silver was. Because he's always like saying, gold, oh, gold's useless, gold's useless. You dig it up and you bury it. But silver is a different deal. Silver is a necessary product. And Buffett also knows that silver will kill the banking cabal. So I would say Warren Buffett is part of the on-ground presence of this army, the Silver Army. And I do expect him to announce at some point in this drama, oh, by the way, Warren Buffett's just bought 200 million ounces of silver and nobody knew about it. We're going to find out very soon, I think. But the, one of the reasons I found it was all my research into The Wizard of Oz. Yes, Dorothy had silver slippers, not ruby slippers. It was all about silver and gold. And silver, clicking the, clicking the silver heels together, was all about going back to a silver standard or a gold standard, the yellow brick road. Read my article. Uh, this is public. Special report, The End of Oz. Go to roadtoroad.com, search special report, The End of Oz, and you'll go through. This is my analysis of a... Um, a movie that was released called Tin Man. It was all about, this is, this is in, right before the crash in 2008. All about how it was going to go down. Ron Paul is featured in it. Alan Greenspan is featured in it. Not the actual people, but the characters that represent. Go to my analysis, and this has almost happened. 2008, we almost killed the cabal. They got out of it because we weren't ready. We're ready now. And voila, they had a remake. He had a remake of the movie. It's called Oz the Great and Powerful. And the lead character is based off none other than, yes, Warren Buffett. And his sidekick, a monkey, looks like just like Charlie Munger. 
Here's the trailer for it. Kansas is full of good men. I don't want to be a good man. I want to be a great one. You're gonna need this! Ah! I don't want to die! I haven't accomplished anything yet! Get all the gold. Am I dreaming? Colored flowers, Rodruda. You're in Oz. I'm Theodore the Good Witch. Where's your broom? You don't know much about witches, do you? It's the Emerald City. You are here at last. And the prophecy shall be fulfilled. This is my sister, Evanora. I'm here to serve you. The royal treasure of Oz. There you go. It belongs Grand to Canyon you. Gold. But only after you up. defeat the wicked witch. Just how wicked is she? Towns were destroyed. China <laughs> destroyed. Children were orphaned. A great wizard from Kansas. I've waited for you to come and set things right. Me? Did those crows just say we're gonna die? Your magic is the only thing strong enough to save us all. Please tell me you gentlemen can fight. No. What we say? Guys, uh, take five. I might not actually be a wizard. Yes, but they don't know that. You are capable of more than you know. The great man we've been waiting for. I think I could be. Go check it out. This is on the private road. I'm going to put it right at the top in the private road section. Uh, it's called Ruta's Notes on Oz the Great and Powerful. How obvious can it be? How obvious can it be? Uh, but hey, this is just a road to Ruta theory. I, I can give you as much background as you want on all the hidden gold in the Grand Canyon, all the secret treaties that have gone on, Warren Buffett and his desire to destroy it. Warren hates banks. It was like, oh my God, Warren Buffett loves banks. All he does is invest in it. No, he hates banks. The idea was to let the system go on for a little bit and then... When the time is right, destroy it. That's where we are. And it's not all about Buffett. It's about these guys. It's about the power and the will of the people and the spiritual connection that human beings have to silver. Silver can free everything. And it has to do with where the bad guys get their power on planet Earth at this moment in time, which is through unbacked fiat money. And silver is that destroyer. So yes, Jenny Moonstone, there is a line of silver knights on horseback that are sweeping through the silver market, as we can tell. I do expect silver to blow by, blow by 600 bucks that Cliff had in his data. Soon. And then blow by $1,000 an ounce. And, and when it does peak, when it does bubble... After 150 years of price suppression, it'll be in the range of one-to-one -one with gold. And then I would maybe sell some silver at a one-to-one -one ratio. These ratios are fake because the price is fake. Because shit like this is allowed to happen. 13.5 billion ounces sold in the last 10 days. And still the price is hanging on strong. Get your physical silver. Get it on your own possession. Join the fight of destroying the bankers. This is Big Square. RoadToRoad.com. I'll talk to you later.